using read and write for Google to actively read and study. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how read and write can be Google can, read and write for Google can be used to actively read and go back and study information from an article. So what I've done here is I've copy and pasted information about cell parts that I'm going to be using the text to speech portion of read and write for Google to listen to the paragraphs and I will be using the multi highlighters to highlight first the vocabulary word in yellow, the definition or the function of the word in light blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click at the beginning of the sentence and I'm going to listen to it. The nucleus is where the DNA is kept and RNA is transcribed. RNA is moved out of the nucleus through the nuclear pores. Proteins needed inside the nucleus are transported in through the nuclear pores. The nucleolus is usually visible as a dark spot in the nucleus and is the location of ribosome formation. I'm going to pause it now and go back through and highlight. So I know that pause. So I know that nucleus is my vocabulary word, so I'm going to highlight that in yellow. And then the nucleus is where the DNA is kept and the RNA is transcribed. Since that's the function, I'm going to highlight that in light blue. And that's really all I'm going to do for the nucleus. So I'm going to go through now after I listen to the first paragraph. I'm just going to highlight some more in the second. So I know that ribosomes is my vocabulary word. Once again, I'm going to highlight that one in yellow. And the function is where RNA is transplanted into protein. Highlight that one in light blue. And I'm also going to highlight protein synthesis, and I'm going to do that one in green since that's a process and it's something that I find that's important. I'm going to go down to my next one, the endoplasmic reticulum. Once again, I'm going to hide that, light that in yellow. And that. is a transport system, light blue. Lysosome, yellow, and it is the digestive system. So you can see here how the, the multicolor highlighters allow us to really actively read. Is that actually going back and using this information? What Read and Write for Google allows you to do is come to this Collect Highlights button. When I click that, it brings up an option. So right here, I have the option of picking what colors I used. I only used yellow, blue, and green, so I'm only going to collect those because I don't have any pinks. If I didn't want the process that I highlighted in green, I can ignore that. I can choose to arrange them by color if I would like, or by position. Since I did it chronologically, I'm going to do it by position and I'm going to click OK. And it says here it's collecting my highlights and a new document is being created. And here's my new document. So as it opened up my new Google Doc, you can see that it's taking just a minute and my Read and Write for Google toolbar will be pulling up in just a moment. It also tells me where I got this information from, what I, who I was signed in as, and a link to the actual document, which can be extremely valuable. Now I have my toolbar back, so I can go back in. I can hit play. Nucleus. where the DNA is kept and RNA is transcribed. 
What I can also do is I can double click on the word nucleus and I can click right here to the picture dictionary. In this picture dictionary here, I can see that now some pictures of the nucleus have come up for me. What I can also do is pick the translator here and it gives me nucleus in, in Spanish. So this is just one way that Read and Write for Google can really support, back to our goals, um, actively reading and studying in addition to just supporting universal design for learning in general. Thanks so much.